Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my ASMR channel. So before we get into today's video, I just want to remind everyone about a couple of things. First, I have a Patreon where for $3 a month, you can get four extra ASMR videos each and every month. I also have an OF where right now, if you join, you can get 40% off of your first month along with a free gift. So if that's something you might be interested in, you can use the link, tree link, down below in my description box. Um, also, using that same link, tree link, you'll find a link to my Wizio, where I make all of my custom ASMR videos, and a link to my Instagram if you'd like to follow me over there. Last but not least, remember to subscribe to my channel if you would like, and like this video as well. But now let's get into today's roleplay. So, I guess congratulations is in order, I'm assuming, from the look on your face right now. Don't play dumb. The look literally on your face right now. I mean, our boss literally called you into his office the second we both got here. We know that there was a promotion for either you or me. He hasn't tried to talk to me today, so I'm assuming you're the one that got the big promotion. Congrats. <laughs> I mean, I'm just a little confused. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest with myself and with you, I'm more than a little confused. I'm very confused. I mean, I'm sorry, weren't you the one that left work early the other night to go watch the basketball game? Wasn't it me who stayed an extra three hours to get re ready for the biggest meeting of the year? Like, <laughs> seriously. It's just honestly incredible the lack of respect for everything that I have done for this company is very palpable by the fact that look where we are I'm in the same position I've been for the past year and you got a promotion after being in the same position for eight months. That promotion and raise should have gone to me. Did he give a reason for why he picked you over me? <laughs> That's rich. You're more of a team player. I'm sorry. I'm so good at my job that I don't need to involve the rest of the team. Doesn't that count for something? You don't know how to get your work done. That's the only reason why you're a team player. This, well, this notebook right here, I plan on handing to our lovely, slightly unintelligent boss to remind him of everything that I have done for this company since being put in this role because maybe he has forgotten I know you guys bond over talking about sports and shooting the breeze in the morning but while you guys are busy swapping stories over your morning coffee I'm working and getting stuff done Oh, there's going to be another promotion next month. Whoop-dee-doo. I wanted this one. What's the position? Oh. 
Why didn't I hear about this? It's in a different department. But they're looking for someone from here to go over there. That's a pretty high title. I don't think I would qualify for that. Why would you do that? You said he should consider me. <laughs> We're not friends. We're not even acquaintances. I would put us in not even the frenemy category, like straight up enemy category. Why would you try to help me out just to what, get rid of me? Trying to put me in a different branch so that I can't make every single day miserable for you, pointing out where you're lacking and slacking off? Because that's kind of the interpretation I'm getting. Oh yeah, I'm sure you care about my future. Yeah, I'm sure just as much as I care about yours. You honestly think I believe that? Like, honestly. It doesn't matter what your intentions were behind it. I appreciate it. Do you need money or something? Why are you being so nice? No, I didn't recently get my hair done. My hair is horrible. It needs to be done. You see these roots? Thank you. Um, you look nice too? What is going on right now? I'm like so confused. Well, Originally I was really angry at you, but now you're being really nice and you're making me feel super confused. Do I want to have lunch with you today? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. In what universe do we sit down and have lunch together? sure you don't need money or something? I mean, of course you don't, because you just got a promotion and a big raise, so you're set. I'm not being salty, I just know what I deserve. <laughs> and I deserved the promotion over you. It's as simple as that. Yeah, maybe I will get the one that is available next month if that even exists you could just be making that up to mess with me thank you you admire my work ethic what is going on with you right now Did you, like, hit your head on the way out? What, now that you're promoted, you're just, like, so happy and positive all the time? Whatever. Whatever floats your promoted boat.
Um, <laughs> sure, we can have lunch together. Where do you want to go? Yes, I know that place. Because I go there every day, it's my favorite place. What are you, like, stalking me? No one from this office goes there. I am the only person. Oh. <laughs> you asked around to see where I like to go. That was oddly sweet. <laughs> Don't really know how to feel about that. Well, thank you. I would like that. Um, let's say noon, 1230. It's usually around the time I take my lunch break. Okay. You look nice today, too. No, I... I mean it. Just because I don't like you as a person doesn't mean I can't acknowledge that you look nice. You usually do look nice. Which is also why I dislike you. I don't know. It bothers me that you're attractive. Because I dislike you, so I don't want to view you like that. Well, that's true, I guess. No, I mean, who knows? Maybe outside of work, I would actually like you as a human, but it's hard because I feel like I'm just clouded by work you and work you I don't like. Because you're always trying to one-up me, but like you go about it in really annoying ways. Like, not even by like working harder than me, just by like, you know, trying to take our boss to a basketball game or just telling jokes and like being funny. It's annoying. Like, go do something productive. I don't know. I don't know sports, so I can't get into that world. It's like an area of competition I can't even compete in, so it's obnoxious. Why would you teach me sports? I'm a really fast learner, and I don't give anything like half my effort. If I'm going to learn sports, I'm going to learn everything there is to know about sports, about every sport, every rule, and then you'll have nothing to one-up me with. You offered, so I guess game on. I mean, I want to get the full experience, so I know you have season tickets. So yes, I'll go to a sporting event with you. And by the time I leave that game, you're going to look like an amateur. Trust me, I will go home and buy basketball for dummies tonight. And I'll stay up all night reading it. Yes, I am very competitive. I think you already knew that about me. Who said it's a date? You're saying it now? So in the span of... I don't have a watch on, but if I did, I would assume it's been somewhere around 15 minutes since you came out here gloating about your promotion. All of a sudden, we went from enemies to now we're going on a date together. 
<laughs> Whatever. If it'll help get me the information I need. Sure. We can go to a basketball game together. And we can go to lunch together. You can start teaching me sports. And then next month when I get promoted, that really big promotion that thanks to you, my name is now floating around the company. Well, maybe I'll even take you out for a little thank you dinner. Since, you know, right now we were equals. Now you're here, but if I get that promotion, I'll be here. So, there'll be a little bit of a discrepancy, but I'm sure it's nothing that'll bother you seeing as you're so easygoing and friendly and just not into silly office competition, right? I bet. Okay. Well, maybe I'll hold off on giving our boss this since... I'd rather go for the bigger promotion. Bigger raise, bigger benefits, and if anything, I have some sports to brush up on. But congratulations on the big promotion, or maybe not big, medium-sized promotion. I'm uh, happy for you. And I look forward to our little lunch rendezvous. And when would this basketball game be, just so I can make sure I'm available? Tomorrow night. That should work. Um, I'll email you my address. You can pick me up. Sound good? Okay. I'll see you at lunch. I have some scheming to do. And see you in a bit. <laughs>